Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're continuing the location tracker series with the Apple AirTag. The first tag that I'm going to be testing is actually the newest one out on the market, the Apple AirTag. At first I wondered why they didn't call it the iTag, but a quick Google told me that Apple might have been beaten to registering that name by another company. There's actually been rumours for years about a location tracker from Apple, but it was finally released just over a year ago on April the 30th, 2021. It's very Apple. It's clean looking. It's sleek. It's beautifully packaged and it's super easy to set up. It's also missing what I consider to be a vital feature. A way to attach it to anything. In the pack when you buy it, it has no cable, no hole, not even a piece of double-sided tape to attach it to something. You can buy holders for it for as little as $12 on Amazon, or as much as $679 for a Hermes designer one from the Apple site. To be fair, that doesn't really matter if you're putting it in the pocket of a backpack or something like that. But I suspect more than 50% of these devices sold are used to attach to your keys. Straight out of the box, you can't actually do that with the Apple AirTag without finding some blue tack, double-sided tape, or glue. I mean, it's so very Apple to have to buy an accessory for it. So it's really not a surprise. The AirTag is also the quietest of the four that I've tested. It's difficult to hear in a noisy environment or if it's fallen down the back of your couch with the keys. This might be compensated for by the above average location algorithm, especially if you have an iPhone 11 or above, and you can use their precision tracking system. One other downside for many people will be that it requires an Apple portable device, an iPhone or an iPad, in order to set it up. Once set up, you can track the device with the Tracker Detect app on Android, but even that is only rated two and a half stars out of five in the Google Play Store so I suspect it's not something Apple is really passionate about. The AirTag has a standard CR2032 replaceable battery, like most of the tags in this roundup. There are no other formats because it's Apple and you like their format or you don't. They're generally not one for options. There's no button on it, so there's no way to do a reverse find, but to be honest, Apple have a perfectly serviceable way of doing that, and it's called an Apple Watch, so that makes sense. It has a separation alert feature and a silent zone. As I said last week, Apple has the big advantage in its huge network of iPhones. So if you tag your device as lost, hopefully fairly soon, somebody with an iPhone will walk past it and you'll get an alert. It's Apple. It will be successful over time and grow. My gut feeling is it's good. Is it the best of the bunch? You'll just have to wait and see after we've tested them all. Question of the day. Do you lose stuff? Would you look at buying something like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to our channel by clicking down here, and our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.